Hi guys, welcome back. So let's get into another one. This time we're going to make a lead sound and we'll be making this sound. Okay, so you get the idea. As always, the one we're going to be making is on the right. So let's have a look at this one. So we're looking or starting with Earthquake, which is another internal or sample that comes with Pad Shop, I believe. Let's just search Earthquake. It's under Pad Shop 2, Synths and Earthquake. And let's just change the position. Position is another good one you can uh, assign to, if you've got a knob, uh, the sort of rotary knob on your controller, you can always just do learn CC, click that, twiddle the knob, and then it's already assigned. So that can produce some interesting effects on its own. So as it's the lead, I'm going to make this mono and put re-trigger on, and I'm going to put a bit of glide on as well. So we get a little bit, bit of bend on the notes. So it looks like we're using six grains on this one. Quite cool. We'll put a bit of spread on. And a bit of duration. Again, we've got the cool effects by changing the duration. Of course, can be assigned to various things. Sounds like a fat boy slim riser there. And hear the glide. Starting to get there, put the octave up, up by two. And the format is doing wondrous things on this particular patch. I'll bring down the release a little bit. So you can also type in your values as well. So I think we need to make this sound a bit more plucky. So the way to do that is to use the envelope, filter envelope. So we'll put the envelope up and then we'll bring down the decay. Sounds starting to sound better. Right, let's have a bit of fun with the modulation matrix. So we want filter envelope to grain format. So this envelope here is going to mess around with the uh, format knob here. So filter envelope to format. So if you just mess about with the um, decay, I'm going to leave that there for the moment, just because it sounds good. So LFO1 to pitch. So this is for the kind of bit of vibrato on the end. We're holding a note and you get a bit of wobble on the end. So let's do that. LFO1 to pitch. And you don't want much on this at all. And we only want it to work when we've got the modifier, sorry, the modulation wheel. So that's... The modifier is the mod wheel, so it won't work until I put my mod wheel up. Obviously, it's way too much at the moment, so we want the rate up. So 
so it's much much quicker and then we'll turn this right down hold down shift to get finer increments so when I put the mod wheel up we get a little bit of vibrato on the end there so we're going to assign velocity to grain formant as well so the harder we press the keys you get a little bit of an extra or sort of a different kind of sound always good to have these things going so soft it gets a different sound when I hit it hard so soft hard so that's really really cool and I've got velocity also to cut off by the looks of things so that will affect how hard I play this will affect the sort of top end so if you had it down the harder I press the darker it is whereas if you have it on a positive value the harder I press the brighter it is Okay, so this is what we've got so far. I'm going to make that more plucky. Yeah, sounds good like that. So we'll turn the EQ on. Frequency up a little bit, just to boost that low end. One quarter D. Bit of an offset and feedback's up by damping, so we're damping down quite a bit too much. Just darkening down that delay a little bit. And of course it will come to life when we press the reverb. Sound miles better now. Low B, switch it on. So let's go to A, copy and paste. Go to B, paste. And we'll just change a few things here. I think we're mainly changing the cutoff to a high pass rather than a low pass. So let's just listen to B only. Really just adding the sort of air and the noise to this patch. The main patch is going to be on layer A. Let's add some tube. and some resonance that's going to add the sort of sizzle to the top so this is A it's B and we'll mix them together so we need to put B up a little bit here bit too velocity sensitive so I'm going to take that that's a bit loud obviously again that's a nice just playing with the cutoff with the resonance on so that's just A B. Okay, so that's adding a low end main part of the sort of EDM lead with a top end noisy type air layer, and this is what I come up with.
and you can hear the modulation on the end of that last note. There you go, where we're just giving that vibrato to that final note. Just to give it a bit of interest. So that is the EDM lead. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.